Hey guys, how you doing today? Thanks for checking in on the weekend. Well, it's a Friday for me, but a Saturday for you guys. <laughs> well, hey, I wanted to wrap up a couple of things and share with you what really interests me this week on the world of YouTube. It's not all YouTube, it's sometimes Twitter and sometimes, you know, just on Facebook or what I find on Google Plus and all that good jazz. So here, let me talk about what I found out just a moment ago, that Star Wars 8 has wrapped. Yes, right, folks, it's supposed to be, uh, the film is coming out in December 2017 and they just, Star Wars just tweeted out moments ago that Star Wars 8 filming has come to a wrap, which I'm pretty excited about because being a Star Wars fan myself, I'm really looking to forward to all the branched out branch out movies from Star Wars and continue, continuing the lineage with Star Wars 8. So let's move on to the next thing. You have to be a hermit. Yeah, a hermit if you don't know anything about the movement called Pokemon Go. Yeah, I and my, my son, my daughter, their boyfriend, girlfriends, my wife even, is playing Pokemon Go. Now, I played last week I loaded it up, got all the way up to level 8, was having a really good time with it. And for some reason, my character database got corrupted, so I lost everything. Which sucked, because I had some really good Pokemon. And some really strong ones, too. I went CP over 500, and at level 8, I thought that was pretty cool. I did a lot of evolutions. The only thing I didn't do was battle gems. I was getting close to that. And I didn't have any eggs that hatched, because... I didn't find out about that toward the end. Regardless of that, there's this gentleman I've been following on the internet. His name is Casey Neistat. He and this other guy I'm following, his name is Sean Doris, created this little short film about Pokemon Go live in New York. Yeah, that's right. They were in between. Now, Sean Doris dressed up as Pikachu. Casey Neistat was a trainer. And it was funny as heck. You just got to get out there and take a look at it because it, I, I laughed. I laughed a lot. Now there's a lot of background videos that go along with it or other YouTube uh, videos that go along with it, but I tell you, it was just hilarious to see them play that out. So get out there and take a look. Again, Casey and I said, put the link of information here below. Another thing that kicked in, you know, I've never been to Hawaii, and I will rectify that one. I will go to Hawaii. But what I found out, there's this couple, uh, Austin and Haley. Austin and Haley. They, I found them because they found me first. They actually liked one of my, well, several of my tweets on, on Twitter. And, and I hope they had a chance to take a look at some of my vlogs. But that's okay. I'm not pushing my stuff. I just, they reached out to me and said, hey, we like that tweet. And, and I really do appreciate it. Um, there are a couple of college kids who are vlogging their life. And this week they were in Hawaii. That's why I mentioned why they, they are there. I wish I would have done that when I was in college, going to Hawaii. And if you want to look at it from their point of view, get on out there and check out their website. Again, it's Austin Haley. Again, the link is should be there and clear in front of you. But I I really enjoy it because they got good music that follows on their stuff. I need to start mixing up my music. Uh, I they've got they got about a few hundred. Oh, I'm sorry, about 500, almost 600 subscribers. So congratulations, guys. That's really cool. And most of all, they have a very fresh um, view of the things that they do so they like food they like good stuff they like to look for art and most of all they like to look for those little outlying coves that are away from the tourist maps around Hawaii so good job guys appreciate that and speaking of travel there's another gentleman that I've been following his name is Alex Brooks uh, his channel is Mars Bars and, and uh, he has a tech channel he has his own personal channel he flies drones professionally for you know for work. He also does tech reviews for a whole bunch of other things. He's got his own company. He's got quite a lot of friends in the UK. Just turned 19 also. Very good, you know, entrepreneur. I love it. He is now in Australia. He's spending a month in Australia. He's never been away from home for that long. So it's interesting to see him pack up his gear Get on out to get on out to South Australia, and he's going to spend a month out there. So he spent a week already. He's already been in, in Sydney, stayed at the Marriott down there. He even launched his drone from one of the balconies of the of the balcony of his room. It's pretty high up, and was able to to, to escape the city for a little bit with his drone. Uh, he's a very skilled pilot because he was able to land that drone right back on the patio. Pretty cool stuff. Anyway, guys, last but not least. 
uh, there's this YouTube channel called Unboxing Therapy. Yeah, Unbox Therapy. Not boxing, no, Unbox Therapy. Now, just like what it sounds, this gentleman gets out there and he all he does is unboxes them. Yeah, pretty cool. I mean, it just stuff just comes in. He has a table and he opens it up and he tries it out. Uh, he's done things like, uh, I think... Um, uh, a survival company sent him some rations that he actually made and he thought it was pretty good. He, he's done things for hovering speakers or new uh, new lighters or new cases for iPhones, uh, camera equipment and, and things like that. I He does pretty good stuff. I, I, I like watching him do his thing. Another thing that he did a couple weeks ago is, well let me put it this way. How many of us have actually, asked, not a sponsor, not a sponsor. <laughs> How many of us have actually spilt liquids on our keyboards, our phones, our, our things like that, our laptops? And and it's just because it was sitting on the desk. Well, there is this new product that he was showing off. It's called the Unspillable Cup. Now, of course, I call b Sorry, excuse my French. BS. And he actually thought the same way. So he actually took a full can of soda filled up uh, one of the cups, set it on the table, and actually whacked it. Yeah, he whacked the cup. It didn't spill. So my next question was, ah, how is it lifting up? Because, you know, if it's going to hold the table and you try to lift it up, obviously you might spill that way. Nope, the moment he lifted up the cup, it came off the table just like if it wasn't stuck to the table. I was pretty intrigued with it, so I'm definitely going to be looking into that. But I thought it was hilarious how he handled it because you, you see the apprehension he had because he's got tech gear all over the place. And you can imagine if he had to hit a cup and spill, you can imagine the cables and wires that are running up because he's running a professional uh, production company there. You can imagine the stuff that's on the floor that he would actually have to clean up. But uh, no, it didn't spill. So I encourage you guys to get out there and take a look at it. I think it's a couple weeks ago. I'll put the link in below. But <laughs> good stuff, man. Anyway, so those are some of my entertainment items that I had from YouTube or Twitter this week. Thought I'd share that with you. I'm gonna keep it small on Saturdays and Sundays, and and uh, put some hopefully put some great content for you through Monday through Friday. But Saturday and Sunday is just really a hey, how's it going? Here's what I see. Uh, here's what I think. I might think inspirational Sunday might be a good thing because remember that I talked about five things that should make you happy. So I should give you a report on that on Sunday and maybe just have a weekly review of that with you if you want to join me with that. So speaking of that, get out there and hit that like button if you like what you're seeing and you know, go ahead, hit the subscribe button please. Show me your support. Get, you know what, I'm always looking for new friends to join me on this journey. So until we talk again, we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.